You can see the, the gemstones in her eyes, which I love. Super cute. She's a twinkle eye pony. No. <laughs> What's up, Seahorse Army? Welcome back. So, it is a beautiful summer day out. It's nice and sunny here, obviously, sunny California. Um, I think I just started the last video I filmed with this as well. I've been filming a lot of videos recently and they're being posted out of order, so I don't know when this video is gonna be going up. Um, but yeah, I, it's been a while since I've done doll reviews outside. I wanted to come out and take advantage of the nice weather, uh, the natural lighting, which is kind of difficult because now the sun moved and it's super bright behind me. Um, so like, I look darker and the background looks lighter. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I have a very special doll from my childhood. This is the Special Sparkles Collection Jasmine doll. And I didn't own this doll, but one of my best friends growing up, her name is Jocelyn. She lived across the street from me. Um, she had this doll, and um, so I got to play with it a lot. Uh, but I have a lot of fond memories of that time. So this doll is very special to me. Um, and I saw it online, and usually it's more expensive but this one listing just happened to be a lot less expensive for some reason for like a new inbox really good condition version so I'm like yeah I gotta have it. it's mine <laughs> send add to cart pay like go send it to me so anyway um but yeah so I had to get this doll I'm super excited about it I just recently filmed my collector jasmine mattel collector jasmine illy makeover video i don't know when that video is going to be going up and i don't know when this video is going to be going up so i don't know which is first if that video is already up i'll put a link right here but i don't if there's no link then that means that that video hasn't been edited and it's not up just yet um but anyway but yeah so this is from 1994 so two years after the aladdin movie came out um this is around the time where uh disney like princess characters like making dolls of them was starting to become a lot more popular um obviously it started with the little mermaid in 1989 and like the ones by was it taiko made them i think and or whoever and um you know then mattel got the license to start making the disney princesses and we got um several different princesses like i think at the time it was just like snow white cinderella sleeping beauty ariel jasmine and Belle. i think those were like the only ones that were out at this time anyway um and you know they i think those are the ca the characters that were part of the set i know that there was a cinderella and a sleeping beauty i think maybe that there was an ariel in this set i'm not sure and i think that there was a bell but i think it was only those five including Jasmine, uh, for this particular set. Um, I never really got to see the other ones. I wouldn't mind getting the Snow White one because her dress is really pretty. Um, but yeah, I, this is the one that I had to have. Jasmine is one of my all time favorite princesses when it comes to doll form. I just think that she is one of the most beautiful princesses. And, um, because like that was like right in the height of my childhood when I was interested in dolls was when Aladdin had come out and the Jasmine dolls were available. Jasmine and Pocahontas those two were my my favorites when it came to dolls always um so yeah i'm super excited to have this now um let me just quickly show you the box before i start like opening it and everything um this it, the box is interesting because it's like wider at the bottom and like more narrow at the top um i think they did that because the other princesses have big dresses so they had to fit the dresses in for jasmine she doesn't really have that issue as much but they just kind of kept it the same shape so when they're on the shelves at the store they line up really nicely anyway it says sparkle special sparkles collection up here at the top um you see it says the name of the movie so aladdin and then you've got a scene from the movie with aladdin and jasmine riding the magic carpet you got some water lilies here her name is up here um there's nothing on the sides except that there is a warning it says contains small parts with possible hazard for children under the age of three so ages three and up um and then on the back you have this beautiful photography like this beautiful picture of the doll of the prototype of the doll anyway um so you can see her all set up in her full glory um and then it says not even the treasures found in the cave of wonders can compare to the dazzling beauty of princess jasmine in her royal robes and jewels with eyes that glitter like the stars of an arabian night 
I agree. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I definitely agree that she is gorgeous and like no jewels can compare to her. <laughs> she comes with a stand. I just realized that there's a stand in here. That's awesome. So this actually is a little bit more of like a collector doll than the, a Playline doll for the time anyway. She was probably a lot more affordable back then. But um, yeah, I, because there's a stand, usually the stands, they only gave stands to the dolls that were more like for the collectors than the whatever. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really, I never paid attention back then. I didn't really care about stands. I cared about playing with the dolls. So <laughs> I never thought about it back then. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I'm going to get her out of the box. I want to, I, I can't wait any longer. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to take her out of the box because, you know, it's nice to have this as part of my collection collection and everything. The boxes take up space and this box, it looks nice, but it's not anything super special that I'm going to want displayed. I want the doll more than I want the box. So I'm taking her out of the box. Let me get her out of the box. I will be right back. Okay, so it is starting to get hot out here, so I'm going to try and uh, be quick about this review just because I need to get back inside where the air conditioning is. Um, but anyway, here she is out of the box. She is so beautiful. She is so stunning. Now, I'll give a close-up to her in just a second. I just wanted to show you the things that she comes with. So she does come with a stand, like I mentioned. Unfortunately, it is just a saddle stand, which it's typical for dolls from back then. They didn't have some of the other stands that we have now. This is just like the very common stand from around that time. I think I have an Alice in Wonderland doll from in the 90s sometime that also has a stand just like this, but in green. Um, it does say Jasmine on the front. It's got a sticker there, which I do like that, and especially if you get like the whole collection and line them up. Like I like that they have the little name, you know, things and they're probably different colors and everything. So it's going to look really nice lined up. Um, of course, Mattel dolls back in the day came with a limited one-year warranty. You don't really see this anymore. I just think that this is funny because anytime I get one of these vintage dolls in the box, I always see this in it because I always forget about it until I open the box and then I see it. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. They, did, they used to do that. She comes with this little bag and it has a brush, which is a typical Barbie brush, but in her matching turquoise color and her shoes, which are gold. I love that because I, um, not too long ago, actually it was a while ago. It would have been two years ago now because I think for for the what is it 30th anniversary of Aladdin I did get the original Jasmine doll and opened that unboxed it and reviewed it on my channel I'll put a link to that up here so if you want to go check out that video if you want to wait till the end of this video it'll also come up as one of the suggested ones on the end of the screen but you know you can go check out the original Jasmine doll if you want to see that one and the only reason I remember that is because uh, or remember when it was is because um, it was in 2022 and the movie came out in 1992 so it was the 30th anniversary so that's how I remember when that video was <laughs> anyway that doll had two outfits it had her original turquoise outfit and then it came with the second outfit which was the purple dress and the shoes that came with that were white for some reason even though she doesn't wear white shoes in the film but I think they did that just so that way her shoes would match either dress either outfit regardless of how you had her dressed she could wear the white shoes to to go with it. Um, this one doesn't have that problem. You know, she gets cute little gold shoes so she can wear that go with her outfit since it has the gold accents, um, which I'm obsessed with this. By the way, favorite color. Love it. Love her outfit. I love all the details about it. Uh, and I think gold is like the perfect accent for it, which I think is actually kind of funny, ironic, because I used to not like gold when I was younger. I was always more into silver um, because I just wasn't a huge fan of, of yellow and orange colors. Um, so when I'd see gold, like if it was ever like between gold or silver, uh, especially for like jewelry that I would wear, I would always go for silver because um, that I thought was a true neutral color. It would go with anything. Um, now that I'm older, I definitely appreciate gold a lot more. I think that gold looks really nice, especially because it goes so well with my favorite color. <laughs> Here's the brush. Uh, like I said, it's just a typical Barbie brush, but in uh, the jasmine turquoise color. So I love this. I think this is probably like my favorite Barbie brush that I have now because of the color and it's pearlescent. Look at that. You can see like there's a, a little sheen to it or a little reflective. I love it. Anyway, um, let me give you a close up on the doll because she is stunning. Here's a close up of her face. I love the original 90s. Mattel uh, 
face molds and like the screening. By the way, I got a really good one. Her face looks so good. You can see the, the gemstones in her eyes, which I love. Super cute. She's a twinkle eye pony. No. <laughs> she has, instead of her headband, she has like an actual little tiara or a crown, but still has the little gem on in the middle on the top of her head. Her hair is in a high ponytail, which I love. Um, speaking of which, her hair... It's kind of hard to tell. It felt like it was Saran at first, but then I do this and it feels dry. So I'm wondering if it's actually Kanekalon, which would be on brand because most of the vintage Jasmine dolls use Kanekalon because uh, that's what Barbie was using and everything. But this one, it's actually hard to tell because it's really floppy. It's heavy, but it feels dry. So maybe it is Kanekalon still. I don't know. Um, but the rubber bands are disintegrating because, you know, this Barbie is for, or this doll is from 1994 um, and the rubber bands do not hold up. So well, except for that one. No, that one's also breaking apart. Anyway, I'm going to have to try and get these melted, nasty, rubber bands out of her hair and clean the hair and once I wash it I'll have a better idea uh, I'll be able to tell if it actually is Kanekalon or Saran I'm pretty sure it's Kanekalon though she has these really pretty gold earrings here hold on I'm gonna zoom back in so I can show you the details she has these earrings which are really cute uh, matching necklace that matches her crown with the the turquoise jewel and it's all gold and then um, of course the gold shoes and that's all the accessories um, her outfit Really, the outfit is the shining star for me. Like this was the main reason I wanted to get the doll. Originally, I was just gonna get this outfit and put it on one of my other Jasmine dolls because I love this outfit so much. Like look at how beautiful this is. It's like got glitter all over it. It's iridescent, it's turquoise. Of course I'm gonna love it. But when I saw the prices that these were going for and then this one in the box was like at such a good price, I couldn't help but get just get the whole doll and I'm glad I did because yes I would have been happy getting just the outfit and putting it on one of my other Jasmine dolls of course because I love the modern Jasmine dolls but honestly I think I'm more happy that I have the actual doll that it that it goes with as well uh than I would be with just the outfit so I'm super happy about that um the outfit's really cool it is four pieces four separate pieces so besides the not including the accessories so you've got the top um, the top is literally just like a little tank, cropped tank top uh, with the this like gold uh, ribbon detail around the edges and then the mesh over the shoulders. By the way, the glitter is coming off uh, all over me. So that's not my favorite thing. <laughs> I'll forgive it because of the nostalgia. I'll forgive it. Um, anyway, um, so you've got the top and then you've got this part, the the sleeve thing this is not attached to her top so this is like a I don't know like a shawl sleeve thing I love it I think it's so beautiful oh she has a ring I just realized she has a little triangle ring I didn't see that before uh, does she have anything on this side no no bracelets no other rings or anything so she has a ring um, anyway so the first part is the top second part is this shawl thing third part is these pants which are so beautiful. I love that, you know, you've got the material here that matches the top, but then the mesh is what makes up the puffy harem style pants. Um, and it has the same ribbon details. Like it's the details, they follow all the way through. And I love that. There is also, there's elastic at the bottom, but they decided to use gold elastic instead of the, the typical black or white, um, which I love because they're like, well, you're gonna see it. So since you're gonna see it, it might as well be in a pretty color um, that matches. So I'm so glad that they made, that they decided to do that for that detail. Um, but you're probably wondering what the fourth piece of the outfit is. Well, if you start to take off the pants, underneath, there's another pair of pants. <laughs> it's kind of like a lining, basically, because this is see-through, and they didn't want just a see-through pair of pants uh, for Jasmine, so they actually have a second layer that are full-on Jasmine harem pants in a really nice polyester material with an um, elastic around the the ankles um you know f and and around the waist so they're full on pants that she could wear by her by itself but they're meant to be like a lining since the outer pants are see-through. This is amazing detail for, I mean, we got it back in the 90s. I know like obviously the quality and like what they're able to give us has changed over the years for the price and and all that other stuff. Uh, it's just 
unfortunate because I mean, and this is also why I started going back and collecting a lot more vintage dolls than new dolls recently. Because I mean, like, look at the detail, look at the like quality, like this is amazing. And the beauty, I mean, obviously she is gorgeous, but I am completely obsessed with this doll. I am so happy that I have her. This is another one of those dolls that I forgot about until I happened to be scrolling through Instagram or somebody, you know, I saw somebody post it and I'm like, oh my God, I remember that. I have to look it up and figure out which doll it is. So um, now I have her in my collection and I could not be happier about it. Anyway, that being said, that is the Sparkle, Special Sparkle, what, what the heck is she called? <laughs> yeah, the Special Sparkle Collection Jasmine doll from 1994. I am in love. She is bringing me so much joy. Um, but that being said, my camera's running out of battery and it has gotten way too hot to sit out here any longer. So I need to go back inside to get into the air conditioning and find a spot for her in my collection somewhere on the shelf because I definitely want to display her. But thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. As always, I want to hear from you. Let me know down in the comment section your thoughts of this doll. Is this a doll that you had when you were younger or one that, you know, you wanted to get or, you know, now that you saw or are you going to go on eBay and try and get it for yourself? Because she is really gorgeous. Let me know down in the comment section. Anyway, okay, I'm going to get going. My co All the ice melted in my coffee. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to get going. But thanks so much for watching. And I hope I see you next time. Oh, do all the YouTube stuff. Okay, bye. <laughs> If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.